Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. So in the last episode we continued on our little grinding uh, spree as we uh, move along these combat zones, gaining whatever mechs we can to resell and just trying to build up our skills so that we can take on a campaign mission. Uh, and uh, we've decided to go for another high reward contract. Uh, this one in which we are helping a local, like, leader uh, quell an uprising of the populace. So we are going to go ahead and pick up uh, basically a full salvage shares is what we're going for, because we do get a little payout. Um, it's a 41 difficulty mission, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, so 14 shares will get us heavy mechs, if there is one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking we do this. This will also probably help our standing with House Liao, because we have been doing quite a few Davian missions lately. I want to build up Liao a bit, a bit, because we are working kind of in their space right now. Uh, but yeah, let's accept this. And uh, we have our heavy squad, our heavy lance, uh, that we are have been using quite a bit. Uh, with our new blood, by the way, Captain Peacock, she has been just... Amazing with that PPC. And just sniping helicopters out of the sky with it and shooting right next to me and and killing enemies. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. I think that's all we can really do. I mean... Yeah. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and ready up. So let this load in, and we are going to go ahead and just quick in and out. Not going to be uh, not going to be too difficult. All right, we're already here. The rebel forces are hiding right. out somewhere on this planet. They should be operating out of a small residential settlement. I've marked the location on your battle grid. Okay. Let's see, ooh, I had a dot on my screen. A little bit of dust there. I thought that was a helicopter in the distance. <laughs> okay. Now, I should have realized the others would have trouble with that route. Come on, boys. Yeah, definitely boys, because that's Peacock right there. Target acquired. Might look pleasant out there, but watch for VTOLs Ooh, in shit. line of sight with the sun. Target acquired. Got him. I got it. All right. Let's move ahead. dealt with. Ow. Amazes me how effective tanks are against mechs. I mean, I guess that is true to the actual uh, tabletop game, because you can play with non-mech forces against a mech uh, force, and you can win. I mean, it's difficult, but you can do it. Gotcha. Target acquired. Target, Target destroyed. Oh, down. Whatever is out there, please state your business. We have no qualms with you. Target 
Okay. It's an ambush! Oh, yeah. What are we dealing with here? Come on! Gotcha! Don't you? It's a 3C, not a 3M. It's close to the one that I use in MWO. There goes your PPC. Gotcha. That back is going critical. Gotcha. All right. Come on. He's down. Hunchback, laser hunchback, laser hunchback. Damn it, they're coming in from all sides. All right, we're going in. Enemy eliminated. Target identified. Bring it down. Leave nothing left for them to salvage. All right. Gotcha. You're barely a mech anymore. Gotcha. Gotcha. The integrity of this place is down to 50%. We're halfway there. All right. Up. Got you. That one. Come on. 
Come on. Get out of the city. Well, we got a lot of mechs we're dealing with right now. Target acquired. got to go right in. Alright. Goodbye, lasers. Come on. Jump jet fuel empty. Accept damage. I need help. All right. Well, up their component. We have them now. Come on. Welcome back, Commander. Stand by for extraction. Shitload of mechs. Shitload of mechs we were dealing with there. In a very built up city. Okay, we'll take that Locust, take the AC5, uh, RM10, AC2, machine gun, why not? Okay. Yeah, heavy damage we took. But yeah, both arms, an arm, an arm, an arm. Everybody lost an arm. <laughs> All right, you strip, you repair, and start. You lost an LRM 15 and a medium laser. Okay, so we can get the medium laser back up at 15. Last of the tier two medium lasers, LRM 15. Repair all, start work, yes. You lost a medium laser. We don't have any tier twos anymore, so just go with the standard. And a single heat sink. Repair all, start work, yes. Griffin lost PPC, tier two PPC. Oof. Repair all. We have a tier one PPC, so half a point of damage output gone on that one. You lost medium lasers, AC 10 ammo, so yeah, you lost a lot. Repair all. Medium lasers, medium lasers. Again, we're out of tier two medium lasers now. So we need heat sinks. And AC-10 ammo. Of which we do not have enough. How much ammunition is that? 40 rounds? Confirm. Equipment. Do you have AC-10 ammo? You do. We're going we're gonna to pick up quite a few of that. Alright. Battle mechs. Hunchback. Repair all, get the mediums back up. Two AC-10 ammos, some heat sinks. And 
and some lasers. All right, start work. Okay, that's being done. Now, if we check the star map, is that the only one? I think it is. Or no, pending transmission, Uprising Quelled, Part 2. Commander, while your strike on the Rebels' base was effective, it seems your actions created unforeseen repercussions. I assumed the commoners would be awed by my mighty display of force and settle down. Instead, your actions emboldened them. I have received word that a local peasant, one Joseph Joss Voistreth, has lauded as a, has been lauded as a folk hero, somehow getting his hands on a lance of battle max. This man of the people is now openly questioning my rule and making some real noise. The last thing I need is to draw attention to the house of Scions to my... Uh, to my small neck of the Capallan Confederation. I wish you I wish to never hear the name Joss Voishreth. Well good, because I can't say it. Ever again. Show this fool the true price of treason and quickly a spirit of uh dissonant okay. Yeah, alright. And then we get the extra rewards. Okay. So where is that? down there. Okay. It's an assassination missions we could go ahead and do. So how long do we have? 40 days? So traveling down there will be 20 days to get down there. Yeah, we'll travel, spend that time. waiting for our mechs to be repaired. There we go. Okay. 45 difficulty assassination mission. Arid Canyon, it is just an assassination mission. Six points to negotiate with. At which point we will go straight in with the salvage shares. I know we're not getting paid a lot for this, but the salvage shares make up for it because we can resell mechs we get with it, so that's what we need. <sighs> okay. Everybody's healthy and good. Nobody got, like, hurt during the mission, just the mechs got damaged. So, you know, I'm okay with that. Pilots pilots can't be replaced as easily as stuff as the mechs can. Well, that's not necessarily true. Actually, some of these mechs are probably centuries old and very hard to replace or repair, but yeah, whatever. <sighs> you know, the more I play this game, the more I wish that Piranha Games would partner with some model company, like Bandai maybe, or, or somebody, and just make some model kits of this. I would love to... I don't know. I would love to have, like, a really detailed, like, hunchback kit, because you can see on the hunchback there's, like, a hinge for the weapon uh, storage on the shoulder to open up for, like, repair and stuff. I'd love to do, like, a diorama scene and, like, make that. I, if you don't know, I'm, I'm big into, like, modeling and painting and stuff like that. It's my hobby, uh, other than playing video games, of course. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but there's never really been really good model kits for a lot of these designs, especially given the fact that the Piranha Games mech designs are new. Like, these are not what the mechs look like if you bought if you buy the models for the tabletop game directly from the company that makes them. Reactor uh, online. It's definitely not how they look Sensors at all. <laughs> online. Weapons but the online. thing is, is, I like these more. <laughs> all systems phenomenal. Some of them look really bad, because they're from, like, the 70s, the so, you know. A citizen has risen up to lead his people in rebellion, Josh Voisyth, the Voisyth. hero of the Capelan commoners. He's rather brave, I'll give him that. But Duchess Soul has put a large bounty on his head. All right. We're going to swing around. We're going to the nearest target. Fire off some missiles. Target down. Okay. 
Yeah, Peacock got this. Jenner coming down the path. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nap point. We might have more luck there. Short but violent confrontation there. Target acquired. Yep, we got contact. Commando. Been a while since we've seen one of those. And there it goes. Come on. Got you. Damn kill stealer. Wonder if I can get on top of one of these buildings. Combat going on here. Chest is open. Seat, open CT. Got him. So is the rebellion, I expect. 
It's hard not to feel for the people here, but it's not our place to get involved in politics. Get yourself to the extraction zone, Ooh. so we can put this behind us. We've fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. Through here. Knocking out that Wolverine, because that might be a good salvage. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying. Lost an arm right at the end. Okay. Hey, we're veteran. Not bad. Get a skate out of that. And... Let's pick up a medium laser. Why not? Yeah, decent amount of damage we took. Everybody lost an arm. You lost a chest piece, which means you lost your cannon. Okay. It appears your elimination of the man of the people... Uh, was a severe blow to their morale. The citizens of my duchy seem to have simmered down, either beaten into submission or given a healthy dose of reality. Either way, I need not worry about them for the moment. Thank you for your service to me, and ultimately, the celestial wisdom. May he live forever. Okay. And let's go ahead and repair. You need some medium lasers, looks like. Yep. Repair all. We are getting low on medium lasers. Okay, heat sink and medium laser. Start work. You lost an arm but didn't lose anything else, so you can just go ahead and repair. You lost your gun and a lot of lasers. Repair all. Let's go ahead, put an AC-10 in there. And the last of our medium lasers, wow. Okay, start work there. Edit loadout, strip everything down, repair, start work. Just gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, sell off these two mechs. And by the looks of the star map, I mean, there's another high reward down there, but I'm thinking we're gonna head back up and do uh, the missions for footfall. But first things first, we're gonna head to a system to sell our mechs. 
buy up some medium lasers. I'm also hoping House Liao likes us a little bit more would be nice. Uh, actually, we can check that out. House Liao doesn't hate us, doesn't like us either. They are slightly, they are basically neutral. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the market. Banshee. First fielded by the Terran hegemony in the mid-25th century, the Banshee was originally intended to fulfill a close combat role. However, poor performance on the battlefield relegated it to militia and training commands throughout the Inner Sphere. It was only until the start of the Third Succession War that necessity brought the chassis back into active service. Despite its shaky beginnings, the Banshee is respectably regarded as an effective direct-fire slugger, capable of outmaneuvering many other mechs in its class. 95 tons. Hunchback. Missile Hunchback. Jaeger mech. Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, let's check here. We need to... Okay. Got that repaired. So now we can go ahead and sell off our cicada with nothing in it. And then just sell it. 1.7 mil. And then we have the Locust for 700k. Alright. Oh my god. Tier 4 AC2. I uh, don't really need it. Let's pick up a couple of LRM, let's see here, seven tons, seven tons. Pick up some LRM-15 streams, just because they might be worthwhile, or LRM-15 uh, streams. Two of them. We don't need the LRM-5. Tier 4 small laser. Basically nothing. Get some AC-10 ammo for the uh, Hunchback. Our inventory, what can we sell? Some of these AC-2s we don't need. Uh, let's see here. Sell some of these machine guns. Sell some of the small lasers. Keep five on hand. Okay, not bad. Uh, what I think we're going to do is shift over one. See if we can pick up some small lasers. Cataphracts. The Cap Allen Federation found itself desperately short of heavy and assault battle mechs during the final years of the Third Succession War. The Cataphract was born directly up from that need. Pride quickly turned to embarrassment as the role of the sole Cataphract production uh, embarrassment as the sole Cataphract production facility was lost to Davian forces only a few years after it became operational in 3025. And shortly thereafter, the Cataphract uh, could be found among the ranks of enemy garrison units. At first glance, the Cataphract seems to be an attempt to make a heavy battle mech as versatile as possible given its mix of weaponry and an abundance of armor. Yeah, it's kind of an all-rounder. Uh, quick draw, Thunderbolt. Eh. Let's go to inventory. Let's see. Medium lasers. Okay, a couple of medium lasers. Pick up a few. We're going to pick up these large lasers, and we're going to refit you with a better large laser. Yeah. 
I'm good with that. Okay, start work. Just make it a little better. Uh, but yeah, I think that's good f from what we can get with the, from the market. But looking at the time, I think we're going to have to end the episode there. So, uh, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button if you want to support the channel. Consider the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!